Nutritionist Pro's Recipe and Formula tab allows users to input recipes into the database for recipe analysis. In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom recipe or formula into the database using the main tabs on the screen, use our quick add wizard features, retrieve and search for recipes and formula files, and print recipe reports. From the home screen, click on the Recipe Formula section. You'll notice that this section contains various tabs, all of which are important to recipe analysis features of Nutritionist Pro NextGen. Please note that all fields marked with an asterisk is a required field. Recipes will not be saved unless required fields are filled in. Also, please note that software as a service and cloud technology are a little different than desktop software. With desktop software, the application's calculations take place on the same machine where you send the command. Online, the commands are sent from the browser on your personal machine to a database server. Therefore, navigation between tab to tab in the recipe section or opening a recipe can take a few seconds depending on your internet speed and your browser's communication. We recommend that once you click on the tab in this recipe section or try to open a recipe, wait until the app is done retrieving the data which you have requested before moving on to the next action or command. Once you're comfortable with how the app behaves, you'll see that it will be the wisest decision over comparable higher price solutions. To add a recipe to the database, you'll work through all the various tabs. Let's start with this first tab. NextGen will require you to name this recipe file. You'll also need to select a region for this recipe. The remaining fields in the General tab are optional, but are useful tools to make searching for recipes easier. For this example, I will add a custom chicken pizza recipe to the database. You can group the recipe by its classification and expand classifications by clicking on the arrow. Remember to select your region. Many of these fields, such as preparation time, instructions, or recipe image, allow you to provide optional information that are featured in recipe reports, which I'll show you how to generate later in this tutorial. Similar to the ingredients section, you can tag this recipe as a generic recipe, a favorite recipe, and also assign a manufacturer or reference to this recipe. Now let's move on to the Add Ingredients tab. To begin adding ingredients to this recipe or formula, click Add. Then use the various fields to filter your search and find your ingredients. Please remember you can search by unique code, discontinued, and common foods under the basic tab. You can also search by generic, manufacturer, or reference under the source tab, and by classification under the classification tab. In this example, I'll add chopped onions to my recipe by searching by name. Then I will select the food and select the amount of chopped onions needed for this recipe. If you would like to edit the name of this ingredient as it appears in reports, you can uncheck the box to do so. Once you add this ingredient, it will appear on the ingredient list of this recipe. You will repeat the same process to add other ingredients. Please note that you can view the name, quantity, and nutrition information of each ingredient in this recipe. For my last ingredient, I'll add a pound of seasoned chicken breast. This recipe is a custom recipe I entered into the database prior to beginning the pizza recipe. Many of your recipes or formulas may have sub-recipes, and this feature gives you the complete picture of your recipe by clicking on the yellow square. To delete an ingredient, click on the red X. To edit an ingredient entry, click on the pencil. Once you have entered in all of your ingredients, continue to the next tab. Under the Measure Cost tab, you will see three asterisks for the required fields. Enter the, in the number of servings your recipe will generate, enter the serving amount, and the corresponding gram weight will automatically populate based on the weight of your entered ingredients. If your ingredients were assigned costs, the cost per serving of your ingredient will automatically be calculated. You can edit the cost of your ingredients by going to the Food Cost tab. To watch a video tutorial on assigning costs to ingredients, please visit www.nutritionistpro.com and go to the video library page. Lastly, remember to click Save. Since cooking loss and yield due to preparation method may change the nutrient content or yield proportion of the recipe, 
you can select the preparation method and enter in a percent water loss. Once the yield is added, the nutrition information is locked in, which means the user will not be able to edit the measure or ingredient tab. If a user would like to edit the recipe again, you must remove the yield and make edits and re-add the yield information. Now that these four tabs are complete with required information, Nutritionist Pro Next Gen now calculates the nutrient information of your recipe per serving amount. You'll see that the percent column shows data specific to the region you selected for the recipe and it is based on the nutrition guidelines from that region. Finally, click on the Ingredient Statement Allergens tab. This tab allows you to tag allergens that may be present in your recipe and generates an ingredient statement based on your common names and ingredient lists of your ingredients. If you are not planning to use the food label feature of the app, you can skip this tab. As I click through the various language tabs, you'll notice that my ingredient list in parentheses for the tomato sauce includes translations in French, Spanish, and Chinese because I included these translations when I made this custom ingredient earlier. To learn more about including translated common names to ingredient files, go to our website www.nutritionistpro.com and watch more video tutorials. Other ingredients, which were Axia ingredients, will remain in English under the Other Language tabs because some of Axia's ingredients did not include its own translation. However, for users who will generate food labels and need translated ingredient statements, you will be able to clean up the ingredient statement in a free text box in the Food Label tab and make the ingredient statement exactly as you want it. Once you are finished, click Save. Another way to add a custom recipe is by using our Quick Add Wizard. Some of our newer clients may prefer this method because the Quick Add Wizard guides the user through the various tabs and takes users through the tabs one at a time. Other tabs will be disabled until the user has completed each tab. Optional buttons will appear only when necessary. After clicking on the Quick Add Wizard button, only essential buttons will appear and the next button will work when required fields are completed in each tab. You'll work through the tabs just like normal. To retrieve a recipe or formula file, click on Search for Recipe. You can search by name or use any of the filters to refine your search, including ingredients tagged as discontinued or common foods. We recommend that you select Custom if you'd like to filter your search for only custom recipes that you've entered. Under the Source tab, you can filter your search by specifying the manufacturer or reference. Another excellent search function is limiting your searches to one source and making that the default source. You can remove the default tag by unchecking this box. Lastly, you can search by classification of foods, such as dairy, entree, or international foods. Here, I'll just simply search by name. In NextGen, you can also tag recipes as a favorite once you pull up its file. Please note we recommend that you only tag custom recipes as favorites. If you mark an Axia recipe as a favorite, it'll turn into a custom recipe. If you would like to pull up Axia recipes quickly, you can search by their unique code. To generate reports, simply open the recipe file, click on Reports at the top, and select a report you can also view the report as a PDF and print or save the report. Here are a few different reports that you can generate. Lastly, if you would like to duplicate the recipe but include a few modifications, such as adding spinach in your pizza recipe, you can click on Save As to copy the file and begin including your modifications. To purchase and see our entire list of products, visit us at www.nutritionistpro.com. If you have any questions, please send us an email at sales at axia.com.